Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Made Easy Tutorials. Uh, today we are going to do something very interesting. You must have heard about bitcoins and it's also coming in everyday news. And in last year it in its uh, value increased from $5.70 to approximately $5.3300. And that's an amazing increase in the value. So it's a buzzword these days and uh, everyone is trying to build apps using Bitcoin or they are trying to implement Bitcoins in their existing app. So we are not going to stay far behind and I've decided to do a tutorial on bitcoins that is we are going to add bitcoins payment gateway to react native app so uh, I will be using a boilerplate uh, a app that has already been built with some features you can see the features that this app has this all features uh, are there in the app and uh, it is something very similar like Tinder app but it's basically for professionals rather than for uh, dating. So uh, you can check the information related to the app here and if you want to get this app you can just follow these links and you can also uh, see the demo of the app using this link. So. Uh, the way we will add this feature to our existing app is that first thing we will add is a button that is a hire me button or you can uh, change it to make payment button because it will be related to making payment and this button we will add in the profile page of this app this app has a users profile page and from there we will link the button to the bitcoin payment screen so as soon as user clicks on that button he will be redirected to bitcoin payment screen and that is the meat of this uh, whole tutorial this bitcoin payment screen code so here is the code for that bitcoin payment screen so let's just try to understand what's going on in this code so uh, first thing uh, i would like to tell you that i'm using react native qr code package to to show the Q, qr code to the user who wants to make payment this basically generates a qr code with the wallet address the react native wallet address sorry the uh, bitcoin wallet address and uh, using the amount that will be paid so uh, i'm also using uh, block io api to build this uh, uh, bitcoin wallet and here you can see i'm using the api key so you can just go to the bitcoin uh, io website and create your own api or there are so many other uh, bitcoin apis available most of them are great just like block io and you can definitely use them okay uh, they differ in their functionality and features but uh, most of the app uh, provide wallets so basically that is what we need for this payment uh, uh, for adding the payment feature to our app and so so we are using react native qr code package and we are using this uh, block io api so here you can see i have use two endpoints the first endpoint is to get the valid address and the second endpoint is to get the balance in the valid address so we will use these endpoints uh, later in the code and as soon as the component mounts uh, we make the first api call and we get the valid address and we also get the balance in the valid so 
before the transaction is made we make uh, we get the balance in the wallet address and then we display the wallet address as well as the QR code for the wallet address and the QR code also contains the uh, the amount that need to be paid so if user scans that QR code that is aut that automatically fills the wallet address and the uh, amount that need to be paid and user can use any uh, Bitcoin app to make the payment just by scanning the QR code and the next thing that we are doing is that we are also displaying a confirmation payment button so after user scans this, this QR code and makes the payment you can press the confirmation payment button to confirm the transaction so when user press this confirm payment button let's see what's happening so when, uh, when that button is pressed this method is getting called and we are making another API call in this method to get the balance in the specific wallet the wallet in which the amount is getting paid and uh, so we are getting the amount in the wallet so after transaction definitely the amount will uh, increase and amount will increase by the same amount that user has made payment so what we are doing is that we are adding the amount that is getting paid to the previous uh, balance in the wallet and we are checking if that balance is equal to the new balance in the wallet so before transaction whatever the balance was that is getting added to the uh, the amount that is getting paid and then it is compared to the new balance in the wallet and that is how we determine if the uh, the amount is successfully paid or not and one more thing that we are doing here is that we have divided the the total amount that is getting paid in two parts the first part is the uh, the main amount that will be paid and the second part is a transaction ID so in Bitcoin payment system there is uh, nothing to distinguish two different codes so if two user makes same uh, payment of same amount it is a bit difficult to distinguish between uh, those two transactions so what we are doing is that we are adding one transaction ID to the amount that is getting paid and in that way what will happen is that all the amounts that is getting paid to one wallet will have or uh, will be unique so we can easily distinguish between those uh, transactions so that's why the the main amount that will be paid is getting added to the transaction ID and a unique amount is getting generated here and that amount is actually getting paid to the user and I think that's it that's what is going on here so after user makes uh, press the confirm button then uh, it is checked whether, whether the, uh, the transaction was successful or whether there was an error and accordingly a message is displayed for example I have, haven't made any payment right now and if I tap the confirm payment button I should get an error message so here is the error message that bitcoins not received contact admin for assistance or try after a few minutes so our bitcoin payment gateway is active and it is working quite well and uh, this is how we can navigate to the make payment page and that's it so hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to check the theoretical part of this tutorial please go to the website nobrook.com and check the tutorial 
uh, article and uh, if you like this and if you like other tutorials on our website or on our youtube channel please do subscribe to the youtube channel and also uh, subscribe to the newsletter on our website and we will make sure that you stay tuned with the latest happenings on react native made easy uh, website so thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and stay tuned have a nice day